Judy Garland was an incredibly talented actress who led a very tragic life. Thrust into stardom at a young age, she acted in a childhood vaudeville act with her two sisters, dubbed the Gum Sisters. They were Mary Jane, Dorothy Virginia, and Frances Ethel. By 1934, they had changed their last name to Garland, and Frances Ethel changed her name to Judy based on a Hoagie Carmichael song by the same name. She soon got into the movie industry, acting in a number of MGM musicals, the most noteworthy, of course, of which is The Wizard of Oz, which everybody has seen. But she continued to improve as an actress, obtaining a number of Academy Award nominations, including one of my favorite performances of her, which is in 1961's Judgment at Nuremberg. Without getting into too many of the tragic details, Judy led a very difficult life. She was treated horribly by the movie industry, which heavily encouraged her to use drugs, an addiction which she struggled with for the majority of her life. And then, in 1969, at a very young age, she died tragically of a barbiturates overdose. Welcome to another episode of Ancestors Unveiled, where I, Yona Paley, will be talking about somebody that I admire and going into their ancestry. And today, we're going to be talking about the patrilineal and matrilineal family of none other than Francis Ethel Gum, aka Judy Garland. She was born 1922 in Grand Rapids, Minnesota to Francis Avent Gum and Ethel Marion Milne, both of whom were vaudevillians and owned a theater in Minnesota. But before we get into any more details about Judy Garland's family, I have a favor to ask you, which is that you hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you so much because we have crossed over the 1,000 subscriber mark. So now we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. I cannot do this without you, and I could not have hit that goal without you guys. So thank you so, so much. Anyways, with that, let's get started. Francis, a.k.a. Frank Gum, was born 1886 in Morfreesboro, Tennessee, and married Ethel in 1914. According to Wikipedia, he was known to have been a gay man, one of the many tidbits of Judy Garland's life, which led her to subsequently become an LGBTQ icon. Frank's parents were William Tecumse Gum and Clemmy Bow. A great deal of information comes from the burial registries referenced on the Find a Grave profiles for the Gum family. While the actual images of the registries aren't online, they do exist in the local archives, and I feel that this is reasonable to trust this information. William, or W.T., was a merchant who grew up in Tennessee. He was born to John Alexander Gum, who worked as a plasterer in Rutherford County. Now, the Find a Grave page seems to imply that John's parents were William Norton Gunn and Melinda Nugent. At first, this seemed to be an unsubstantiated claim, and I could not understand why people had put the information onto their public trees. But a deeper dive through the records makes a strong argument, although fully circumstantial. You see, the 1850 U.S. Census shows John Gunn living with a family by the name of Crosswaite. Later on in the 1870 census, a similarly aged woman named Melinda Gum appears next to John. She may have been his mother. Adding on to this, an 1819 marriage certificate mentions a man named William Gum marrying a woman named Melinda Nugent. The hypothesis being that John's father, William Gum, died sometime in the 1830s, and that his widow, Melinda, married William Crosswaite. To further substantiate this, William Crosswaite appears to have died sometime before 1870, meaning it would make sense for Melinda to be living back with her son in that later census. The jury is out, but it looks highly promising. And now, what of Judy's matrilineal 
family line, starting with her mother, Ethel Marion Milne. Well, she was born 1893 in Michigan and moved to Wisconsin to play music in vaudeville. It was there that she met Frank Gum and the pair performed as a duo called Jack and Virginia Lee, the sweet Southern singers. Toward the end of her life, she appears to have been estranged from Judy and died in the parking lot of the airplane plant where she worked as a clerk. Ethel was the eldest daughter of John Milne and Eva Fitzpatrick, both of whom were born in Canada. The family seems to have a lot of overlap between Ontario, Canada, upstate Michigan, and upstate New York, as the records tend to swing back and forth in reference to these three regions. Eva's 1891 marriage to John Milne lets us know that her father was named Hugh Fitzpatrick. However, it does not give us the name of her mother. For that, we need to turn to the 1881 Canadian census, which shows Eva living with her parents, Canadian-born Hugh Fitzpatrick and Irish-born Mary Elizabeth Harriet. Mary and Hugh married 1858 in Detroit, Michigan, and neither that document nor Mary's death certificate or obituary contain details of her parents. However, the obituary contains a photo. The only possible lead I was able to find on Mary was an 1850 Canadian census for what could be an Irish family with a surname similar to Harriet. But the handwriting is not good enough to tell and there are no clear other signs that this is them. James and Kitty's daughter is around the right age to have been Mary Elizabeth, and the Canadian town they are residing in, York, Ontario, is around 300 kilometers away from the city of Kent, referenced in her marriage certificate just eight years later. To conclude Judy Garland's matrilineal line, I don't think there's currently enough evidence to take it back any further than her great-grandmother, Mary Elizabeth Harriet. However, if you have specialized knowledge about Canadian or Irish genealogy, please feel free to comment down below and let me know if there's anything that I may have missed, or maybe you think that this 1850 census may be able to yield more than it seems. So anyways, with that, thank you so much for watching. Once again, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.